so the quality might look a little different and I kind of look crazy right now. I just put on with like some concealer and eyebrows and some mascara. So I'm at Starbucks right now, so I'll be showing you guys what I'm ordering today and I'm just going to be taking you along the day with me. But yeah, so if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And let's go ahead and jump into the vlog. So I ordered a tall white peppermint mocha with no whipped cream. You guys about this drink in one of my favorites videos. It's super good and it reminds me of Christmas and these and Tuckies, so I'm excited to drink it. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it comes out. I just got my drink. This one tastes like super peppermint tea. And I usually don't make it this strong, but it's fine. But yeah, you guys should definitely try this out. I like to get mine with no whipped cream just because I don't really like whipped cream, but. by the clips before I just got to Barnes and Noble so I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys inside with me I don't know if I'll be able to film in there because I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of people in there and I kind of feel awkward talking to a camera inside Barnes and Noble but I'll show you guys around with me and I'll show you guys what I pick up as well of course I'm gonna wear my mask so I have this black one right here which I really need to wash because I have makeup on it but whatever I think that's going on your nose so I don't know if you guys can hear me through this mask but this is actually a kid size mask and it actually fits me pretty good because I feel like all the other ones were super big on me so that's why I'm wearing this black one right here. Okay, but yeah, let's go inside. So like I literally want to look at everything and I kept looking at like the same aisles over and over again to like find more things because there's so many books. You guys what I got. Sorry I look kind of sweaty and it's really hot. So I got a journal and I had shown you guys in like a previous clip of like me looking through the journals and stuff. They had a lot of different cute ones. They had a whole bunch of different planners. So if you're looking for planners for like school coming up or just like your daily life, um, they definitely have a lot of stuff. So I got this one, it says my thoughts, and I've never wrote in a journal before, but I keep telling myself that I wanna start doing that. So now that I got one designated for just a journal, I'm hoping that I will use it. So I got this one, it's super pretty. I like the color for details on the page that I really like. I think it's really pretty, and it's just your basic notebook. Looks like this, and it's pretty small too. It's not like a super big one, so I like that heard this was a good book it says when to say yes how to say no to take control of your life so it's basically about how to set boundaries in your life for relationships friendships families careers all that I gravitate towards books like that I like self-help books I like relationship books I don't know I'm truly really into that I don't know if you guys know this already but I do want to be a marriage and family therapist so I tend to gravitate towards books that help me give other people advice and that I can also learn a lot of things from so I got this one right here and this one was 
It's a pretty big book. It has something pages. I picked up this book right here. So I've heard a lot of things about this book for a long time. So it's like more of a relationship book. So this book is Why Men Love Bitches. So very interesting title, but I heard this was a really good book and this was $15.99. So I'm excited to read this one. And this one is a little bit smaller. This one was like 250 pages. I will be doing a giveaway for this book, The Five Love Languages. If you guys didn't already know, this is my favorite book ever. I think it's an amazing book. It's great for relationships, but you can also apply these skills that you learn in this book to friendships, family, literally everything. And this is just like the best book ever. So I decided to pick it up for one of you guys to win. All the rules for the giveaway linked down below in the description box. So make sure you check that out before you go. But yeah, to gift this book to one of you guys. And I was going to buy like one of the other books that I had just picked up for you guys as well, but I'm not sure how those books are obviously since I never read them before. So for now, I'm just going to do a giveaway with the five love languages. And if I end up liking these two books, then I'll do another giveaway if you guys are into the book giveaways. I'm going to go to Ulta and see what they have because I'm looking for these little elf blush highlighter palettes. And yeah, we can go look around in there. So I will see you guys once we get to Ulta. Halloween. So if you know me, you know that Halloween is my favorite season ever. I love fall, but Halloween is like one of my favorite holidays, if not my favorite holiday. And I just love the mood and the vibes around Halloween time. And every time I see like a spirit Halloween store, it gets me super excited and I feel like Halloween's coming. And we'll probably be in quarantine for Halloween, which really sucks. But um, at least I can have my little nephew still dress up and I can see them look super cute. Halloween, I love Halloween decorations. My favorite movies are like Hocus Pocus, Halloween Town. I'm literally like obsessed with them and I act like a little kid about it and yeah, super exciting. Sorry the lighting got kind of weird. It's, I'm parked in the shade, but I went to Ulta now and hopefully I don't waste hella money on things I don't need because I honestly don't need anything. I think I might need like a brow pencil because I'm about to run out, but that's really it. Honestly, I don't need anything else, but you know, probably buy other shit. So I'm gonna take you guys inside with me. I don't know if I can be filming a lot and I kind of feel weird talking with a mask on. It's like really uncomfortable and I feel like you guys can't hear me, but I will take you guys along with me and show you guys some products and what they have. And then after I'll show you guys what I picked up. So let's go ahead and head into Ulta. Wish me luck, but I don't buy everything. <laughs> stuff you can't even test anything right now because obviously all the testers are like basically blocked off and they put like saran wrap over it so you can't try it obviously because of covid which makes sense but like there's just not a lot of new stuff and i was looking for like i said those little elf pellets and they didn't even have them and spent not much money though so i'm very proud of myself i only spent like 60 dollars and i had a coupon so always use a coupon at ulta if you just look up ulta coupon there's always like a 350 off 15 sometimes there's a 20 percent one so definitely always use a coupon to save money and then also Ulta if you didn't know you get points so every time you buy something you get points and then to reach 100 points you get three dollars off your purchase so definitely do that if you go to Ulta or you shop there. It's up the dramatically different moisturizing gel with a pump from Clinique. This is just the daily moisturizer I use and I was running very low so I was looking on whatever I'll just buy it now since I'm here it looks like this nothing special but I want to pick up another one of these and I believe this moisturizer is like the most expensive thing I got. So this moisturizer was around like $28. It's also another necessity. It's not just like a random thing I picked up. Um, this is the ColourPop Brow Pencil. I got the shade Brunette. And honestly, brow pencils run out super fast. So I picked up another one because I'm basically almost done with mine. But it just looks like this. It's just your basic brow pencil, but it's super cheap. So it's not that big of a deal. 
the picked up which i'm pretty excited for these two things so moni had came out with like a summer collection um they came out with the make it last spray which if you know that's my favorite setting spray but they have scented versions so they had like coconut papaya dragon fruit mango all these different scents but i got the kiwi watermelon one so it looks like this it's just a fruit fetish make it last spray so i'm guessing it's the same formula as the make it last setting spray but this one is just scented or at least i hope that's what it is um but yeah so this is supposed to make your makeup last it says it's a three in one prime correct and set it's a lot smaller than the regular make it last but i'm excited to try this and they also have like matching lip balms so i got a different set in a lip balm but this is the fruit fetish papaya pineapple lip balm so like this and yeah so i'm excited to try these out and see how they work nothing crazy but i feel like i'll probably like these products sorry i'm like sweating it is like extremely hot right now but i also picked up the hemp sweet pineapple and honey melon body moisturizer i got the mini size for like my car or my purse because i always need lotion when i'm out because i cannot stand the feeling of dry hands it's like ugh, it disgusts me it's just so weird i don't like it so and i'm always asking everybody for lotion they never have it so i finally picked up my own and it's a small one so i can always carry around with me and my little sister has the full sizes and it smells amazing like it smells so good it's sweet pineapple and honey melon so it smells sweet i don't know it just smells really really good it's not like too sweet like cupcakey sweet it's like a fruity sweet smell and it's like amazing and i love it so i was like you know what why don't i just get the mini size so i got one for my car but that is all i picked up and it's been too much money like i said thank god because i really didn't need anything i was just mostly looking for the elf palettes but i didn't find them so i don't know i feel like my ulta never has the new stuff like i feel like they just got like the milani stuff and that's been out for like a while now summer is basically over and the elf stuff is like pretty new so i assume they would have it but they don't so i feel like my elf doesn't really have a lot of stuff i'm hot now from wearing my mask in there this whole sunday self-care thing took me like three hours and i only went to starbucks barnes and noble and ulta and i honestly don't really need to go anywhere else i don't really need to spend any more money because i'm just buying unnecessary stuff at this point so i'm probably gonna head home and yeah i think i'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is like my first real vlog video, like a day with me. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing like my Sunday self-care routine or doing things that make me happy. And I can't wait for the giveaway as well. So I'll leave all those rules down in the description box. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that will be one of the rules and give this video a thumbs up. See you guys in my next video. Bye.